the kind of scientific knowledge you get through doing a medical sciences degree at Leeds gives you all of the foundation scientific knowledge about how the human body works at all kinds of different levels, from the anatomical level, the cellular level, even at the molecular level, what goes wrong in disease and how we fix it. The open day was exciting, spoke to a lot of academics, speaking to the students was really good. I think it was the shortest open day I came to because as soon as I came here I just knew that this was, it just felt right really. I wanted quite a broad course, I wanted one that I could choose um, my modules, that I could have a varied sort of degree. It had everything in it, it had all the different sciences, I liked like the mixture and the fact that I could also choose other courses outside medical science. So at first year, all of the modules that we do are compulsory. You can think of it kind of like a foundation year. We cover the fundamentals of biochemistry, some cell biology. Endocrinology, which is also really good. Anatomy, some pharmacology, some neuroscience. And also the basic lab on skills, scientific skills. I, I really enjoyed all of them. By the time you get to halfway through second year, you can then start to piece together something that's tailored to what your interests are or remain broad. There's so much of choice. There's so many different things. I had a lot of meetings with my personal tutors to discuss what modules I wanted to choose in the next years and what that meant for me in the long term. So all of the biomedical sciences are practical subjects. Practical training starts first week in the laboratories using core fundamental pieces of equipment. In first year, it was every week we had a lab and it was really good because you got material before you went in, so you got to learn the science of it before going in. We had brilliant lab technicians. There's about four of you that have a demonstrator each almost, so there's lots of help. We also have then follow-up sort of tutorials and seminars of what we've learned so we can really make sure that we've actually gained something from working hands-on. As you progress through the years, you sort of do more and more lab work. We cover everything really from the very molecular level all the way up to handling human subjects and measuring different kinds of experimental parameters in people. You'll be taught by people who are world-leading researchers in their particular discipline. What they're teaching is at the forefront of science. They're really passionate about what they're teaching. And their awareness of what's current within the world of research colours the kind of material they cover even in the most basic level one lectures. So it makes it really interesting, it makes you sort of passionate to learn so when they bring in a graph and they say oh yes you won't find this paper because it's mine and I'm still writing it, your interest is sort of almost more sparked with having someone so enthusiastic teaching you. The best feedback is from talking to students and seeing that they enjoy what they're doing and that they leave here and go on to do something worthwhile. Coming into labs and like doing experiments and things, I'm thinking possibly going to research because I find that really interesting. I'm nearly finished, I've got one more exam left and then I'm working as a healthcare assistant for a year. I'm going to decide whether I want to do a graduate course into medicine or not or look at other opportunities in that sector. The university is really flexible. Uh, it's really fun. Diverse. Adventurous. And inspiring. Now, a sort of teaching's finished, I have a few exams and then going home, I don't really want to go home. <laughs> it's been really good. I just love it so, so much. So many new opportunities, I've learned so much, and um, most of all, it's been really fun. Mm -hmm.